so the histogram problem that we saw yesterday hmm, the catch is the catch is uh, these values this is uh, first value is uh, 0.19 at intensity 1 not at 0 see it started at 0 this one now 0.25 at intensity 3 not 1 okay hmm? 0.25 at intensity 5 not 2 okay you see the difference then these two at intensity 6 and these three will now go to intensity 7 okay and that will not give you the histogram of the resulting thing to get the equalized histogram all these intensities shall be multiplied by uh, what is that number 64 cross 64 this entire thing shall be multiplied by 64 cross 64 that means first this 790 there will be 790 pixels of 1 1023 pixels of 2 850 pixels of intensity 5 then 656 plus 329 pixels of intensity 6 and then these all remaining pixels will have intensity 7 remember that okay hmm? remember that that will give us the equalized histogram okay that will give us the uh, equalized histogram okay hmm? got it now what we will do today what we will do uh, so we saw the histogram yesterday nice thing okay histogram what does it do it uh, lets you have a better uh, pdf fine hmm? uh, but then sometimes what you want is sometimes what you want you may want to have uh, image okay which may be bright which may be dull or which may be of uniform uh, distribution but you want it in a certain manner okay in such case you want to specify you want to specify a particular histogram i want my image to look like this it, i want it to have a particular histogram only probably some of the cameras uh, they allow you to do that where you can uh, specify the histogram so that particular thing is called as histogram matching okay so in histogram uh, equalization it just happens at a click of a button whereas histogram matching here you have to mention what sort of histogram do you want to have and then as per your requirements the image will be automatically transformed okay it doesn't mean that you will exactly get the kind of histogram you wanted but it sort of uh, you know tries okay so that means say here was a image okay this is the specification of the image that you already uh, did the equalization for and uh, author now has a fancy requirement author now wants to have an image which will have an histogram something like this this is what uh, author wants okay the two text this is what the author wants he wants to have an histogram something like this and there is an algorithm this also comes with the algorithm this thing uh, author has to specify author has to specify and we will end up getting author will end up getting after running the algorithm a histogram something like this see this histogram tries to have a match this particular required histogram okay this histogram here tries to match okay this histogram sorry this one tries to match this thing hmm? tries to match may not be same but almost tries. anyway it's better than this particular thing right it is sort of uh, now almost on the right side of things okay hmm? so before going to the numerical at hand let us see uh, a situation let us see a, a situation okay hmm? let us see a situation i have closed the window hmm? i have closed the window wait uh, let me go to a matlab now let me go to matlab and try to uh, tell you exactly what's the deal with the histogram uh, matching hmm? uh, there wait a second wait a second okay hmm. now i am in uh, matlab let me share with you the share screen the matlab window hmm. let me share with you the matlab window okay hmm. so now here let me show you an image okay so now let me take this uh, cameraman image okay what is this cameraman image by the way hmm. see this image uh, let me open this open outside matlab wait a second okay Hmm. okay now now on the screen you have a cameraman image okay this image here you can see it is a so six o'clock image okay as if it is a uh, shady right it's on the sort of darker side okay now you are not in a position to tell exactly whether the values are there on the extreme left side or right side 
whether it's a low contrast image or something you don't know hmm? because you are not an engineering thing or somebody you just want this image to look bright okay you want it to image to look like something okay you are not able to explain so in what way you want that image to look like you will tell that i want the image to look something like this see i will show you one more image okay the requirement is the requirement is somebody gives a fancy requirement. he tells that that particular image should look like this particular image okay now do you see anybody see this particular image uh, jet plane a plane flying in a uh, background which is uh, covered with ice will you see are you seeing this image by the way hmm? are you seeing this are you somebody somebody ping okay hmm? now can you tell by the what is the difference what is the difference between the camera image and this particular image what do you say what do you say somebody somebody would like to type in what do you feel about the, you can uh, you can you can tell also you can uh, should i give you the mic control contrast okay abhishek says it is contrast uh, what darshan has to say what do you think darshan the earlier the cameraman image and this jet plane what do you think what do you think what sort of image is uh, what is this image what is the difference between the earlier image and this image what do you think abhishek said that it's a contrast what do you think ranjana what do you think rufia what do you think hmm? what do you think this is sushma Vinod, what do you people think uh, what is the difference between the two images okay so it is taking time for you to type in comments so probably two things either it's the network issue or you are sort of confused you are not able to explain exactly what this thing is right but somehow you want that earlier camera I mean, image to look like this uh, what if the image it would have been better if the image looked something like this you will feel okay so now what we will do without getting much into the specifications whether the image was a low contrast image high contrast image a washed out image a darker image or a lighter image let us simply have the camera I mean, image to have the same specifications as that of this particular image of the jet plane shall we so now what i will do so there is uh, yeah anything hmm? so what we will do uh, so without getting much into uh, what sort of image is this let us uh, try to do it in matlab so one good thing is matlab comes with a lots and lots of uh, examples okay and lots and lots of uh, demo files you can always uh, go and uh, try that okay so i will type in here in uh, where uh, what is this uh, help help hmm? histogram equalization i will like uh, histogram matching i will type hmm? histogram specification histogram uh, specification okay so there i typed histogram specification and i'm expecting some uh, helpful window to uh, pop up hmm? okay hmm? so histogram matching sorry histogram matching i tried it yesterday okay so what I'm trying to do now is, what I'm trying to do now is, I would like to have my histogram of the cameraman image to look same as that of, uh, not histogram, the image of the cameraman. I want it to look the same as that of, uh, uh, what, uh, the jet plane image. Okay, hmm? we will try that, we will try that now. We will try that now. See uh, here, I tried it yesterday. So the command is, so the command is this one, I am, Hist match. Okay. Hmm. The command is I am hist match. First, what I need to do is I will read the first uh, command. Okay. Hmm. Can I execute this from here? What I did was yesterday. Hmm. Let me read. I will read the uh, contents of the cameraman. Hmm. I will read the contents of the cameraman. Okay. Then I will read the content of the uh, jet plane value selection. Then what I will do is then what I will do is I will read the uh, jet plane the domain of the oh, wait a second uh selection okay okay hmm. selection <coughs> hmm. now now what i did there was what i did there was i took the image of the uh, cameraman i took the image of the cameraman and I want that particular image. Okay, so over here I took the bad uh, uh, variables there. Can you see my MATLAB screen there? Over here, by the way, is nothing but my 
camera one okay it's a variable name that i took you know i have been taking im and all hmm? o is the variable name that i took for the camera image z is the uh, my z image so what i am giving is im hist match is the command im hist match is a command it matches the attributes of this particular uh, camera image to the attributes of the z now the matching has been done now let us see now let us see the histogram okay hmm? i am hist of the new variable b which is the matched histogram okay hmm? which is the match histogram okay let us see let us see how does it uh, look like hmm? so uh, it has popped there new share uh, wait uh, here hmm? let me share my screen itself with you okay there now can you see my screen so what is this particular thing here on one side i have on one side i have the histogram of i am just wait, wait, figure okay. am hist uh, oh. okay oh, there okay hmm. so so what happened was what can you see my screen can you see my screen <coughs> somebody <coughs> somebody uh, can you see the screen okay thank you so what has happened is so this is the original histogram of the camera image we knew it so uh, it's sort of low contrast there and there and uh, not low contrast yeah and but then it had uh, lots of shades of gray also now you can see this particular image what just happened why this is uh, so much uh, space there you see here this value was up to 4000 now suddenly it has become 8000 why did that happen why did that happen let us see let us see because we are trying to match this particular histogram with uh, this particular one figure uh, once again figure <coughs> i am hist of the z hmm? i am hist of z this is what we are trying to do okay what we are trying to do was what we are trying to do was <coughs> Wait a second, wait a second. I am just I am for jet, I am for hotel. Okay. Hmm? So what we are trying to do? We are trying to match. We are trying to match the histograms. Okay. Hmm? Let me close this one of the figure. <clears throat> hmm. We are trying to match the histogram with uh, this particular thing. Okay. Not so convincing. Let us see the figures. Okay. Let us see the figures now hmm? let us see the figures first i will show i am show. let us see the original uh, image okay let us see the original image of the cameraman hmm? wait wait sorry okay. hmm? now this was the original image of the cameraman i wanted the image I wanted the image to have the histogram. I wanted this image. Oh God. Hmm. What happened? Wait a second, wait a second. Hmm. Now, just be there, be there. Let me do this thing uh, from the beginning. Let me do this thing from the beginning. Let me read this. Okay, so first I will read the cameraman image. Okay, first I will read. Let me clear, clear the entire space first. Okay, hmm. all variables. Are cleared okay hmm? now let me okay now there is a catch in the cameraman okay cameraman image is fine now uh, j for jet i will call it as a jet image only okay hmm, equal to i am read now what is that jet name i guess right hmm. plane dot it's a tif image okay it's a tif image for some spooky reason 
there is uh, one more variable there is uh, two dimensions to this the second dimension con contains you know most of the uh, whites there okay it's complete white in the second one so i will uh, j1 i will give some name so what i want to do is here this is z of colon comma colon comma one okay why is this thing and you know, let's not bother about it uh, as of now hmm? so now i will show you what we are trying to do hmm? <coughs> now the command what we have to use now command what we have to use here okay so i am show this particular command now i will uh, try to copy okay hmm? so now let us match now let us match the cameraman image with the j1 okay hmm? there we are done I am so what just happened okay so can you see the screen now can you see my screen can you see that image can you see that image somebody please type in uh, okay thank you ah, okay hmm. so figure what happened was what happened was uh, What happened was this was the original image of the cameraman. This was the original image of the cameraman. You wanted it to look, you wanted it to have a histogram that of you wanted it to have a histogram that of <coughs> this particular jet plane, uh, which one here. You wanted it to have an histogram something like this hmm? you wanted it to have an histogram something like this and then there you got it also hmm? there you get it also got the thing what does histogram i took too much time i guess here you know explain this a trivial thing did you get by the way what is the essence behind histogram matching okay so this was the image we did not know what attributes to be changed, but somehow we wanted it to have a feel something like this. And then we did the matching and there we got it. Okay. From this image, we matched it backwards and we got this particular image, uh, bright, light, washed out, uh, low contrast. I don't know what it is, but you got the thing. So that is histogram match. Understood? Understood? Shall we? Now let us see the theoretical aspects of this how do we do this okay let us see the theoretical aspects how actually this entire thing is done okay hmm. let me go back let me go back to the the ppt hmm. let me go back to the, the slide hmm. okay yeah there we are now let us uh, hmm. okay so uh, uh, how do we do this histogram specification so here is a, a numerical at hand histogram specification so what has been given uh, what has been given here mm, okay so author has uh, this is the original histogram okay this is the original histogram author wants author wants to have an histogram something like this okay for a uh, mm, what is this uh, image whatever he had mentioned 64 plus 64 image with three bit this is the original histogram of the image hmm? original histogram of the not this one sorry uh, this one hmm? this is the original histogram of the image author has specified that his image should have these probability distribution function okay so if at all you multiply this with the 64 plus 64 you will get some numbers only okay hmm? so here directly the probability has been given. So you should understand the difference between PDF and histogram. Hmm? You should understand the difference. So do you divide the P histogram by M into N, the dimension, you will get the probability or you multiply the probability with uh, M cross N, you will get the histogram. Okay. Now, uh, what is the task? How do we do this thing? So the first thing, first thing, first is we will equalize simply. Hmm? First we will equalize. Okay. You got, you know this particular part. Okay. This is the equalized part okay once you are done with the equalization what next you have to do what you have to do next is you take this particular image also hmm? you do it take this particular 
specified histogram here and then afterwards to this particular histogram also you go on accumulating you go on accumulating and go on multiplying this by uh, what is that value seven hmm? you go on accumulating and uh, multiplying this also 15 into 0.5 into 7 <clears throat> then uh, these two uh, point, uh, 0.2 plus 0.15 hmm? so now let me tell you if the class ends i will uh, i will send you the thing once again okay hmm? same meeting id will be there you have to join okay hmm? okay i took uh, some additional time with this okay now can you guess where is this table coming from did you know where is this table coming from here also it's the same formula okay so 0 0.15 into 7 cumulative probability multiplied by number of levels minus 1 7 okay hmm? 0.15 into 7 uh, what is that number nearest number is 1 okay so 0 0.5 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2 into 7 what is that uh, 0 0.35 0 0.35 into 7 what's that number hmm? nearest value is a uh, 3 what is that number by the way hmm? okay then the third number the third number is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 7 okay that number is 5 and finally at the end you have to get uh, 7 okay last value has to be 7 okay hmm? you remember it okay so this is the same formula that we did in the previous class but you are doing this now you are equalizing this thing i should say you are equalizing this particular chart you got this value now you can see the originally equalized one you had this uh, 13566777 here you have something different okay hmm? here you have something like 0012567 now what you have to do now what you have to do is you have to match right you have to match them backwards you have to match them backwards from here to the original image you have to match okay hmm? how is that done how is that done now come back now come back okay hmm? so this was the original thing okay one three five this was the original equalized histogram we remember this right these two were added and these three. now what you have to do is this is what we got from the specified one cumulative probability multiplied by level this is what you got from the specified one the g is that of q okay now what you will do is now we will see here s naught goes to one and where is this one by the way s naught goes to one see here s naught goes to one and this one is at location intensity three okay s naught went to one intensity z at zero was transferred to one while you equalized now those intensities now shall be moved to location three okay okay similarly s1 had been at okay similarly what is next uh, s1 had been at three unfortunately the nearest one is uh, two okay you see now the same thing now the same thing s1 is at three now three uh, which is the nearest one to three uh, there is two and then there is five right see there are two contenders nearest to three there is one and there is a uh, uh, two and there is five sorry not this one hmm? not this one there is two and there is five so what you will do which one you will take we will take two hmm? so s1 all intensities as one which were earlier moved to three now shall be taken at location four all the intensities at three now shall be moved to four okay okay now similarly similarly all the intensities at two which were while equalizing were moved to five where is five here okay now they shall be taken to five only okay five will go to five only all the intensities at six okay those intensities levels at three location three and four which were earlier gone to six now will be now moved to six which is again pointing to six only so six will go to six seven will go to seven okay what this thing how did you do this from the equalized image we came onto this cumulative sum on this particular side from here we mapped towards the left you can see hmm? we did this in reverse we did this in reverse so what just happened 
So intensity as one had now come to three. Which one? This number you calculated today morning. Point one nine. Uh, intensity at three has now come to four. Point two five. Intensity as five is there at five only. Point two one. Intensity six at six. Seven at seven. Now this here is our specified histogram. Okay. This is what author wanted, but we tried. But this is what we could get. Okay. This is the. This is. This is the difference. This is not the equalized one. Okay. Where is the equalized one? Where is the equalized one? See here. Let me show you. Hmm? This one was equalized. Uh, where? See, this was the equalized one. Okay. Hmm? This was the where? 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 Wait. 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 Ah. Uh, see. Hmm. The equalized one was uh, this one, which had values at one and three. When you specify, when you specify all those values, the values now have been moved towards the. You can see the values. All those values now have been moved towards the right side. It tried, and this is what it got. Okay, so histogram specification or histogram matching. Okay, so how it is done? You go to the numerical, and you will uh, the steps will be understood. Compute the rounded integers, and some steps have been given. This is what it meant. Okay, this is what it meant. Okay. Hmm? Mapping, okay. Histogram specified input, then mapping equalized uh, corresponding to the corresponding. Okay, hmm. so uh, usually you'll end up getting the numericals in this. Very interesting, very uh, easy to score also. Okay, this will be easy maths if at all you got this uh, numerical. Okay, hmm. so today, uh, so uh, we will uh, stop here. So now I want to give you some assignments. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll take this chapter very very. Uh, slowly hmm, to have some uh, interest among you. Then afterwards, uh, once you go to higher modules, we have to go uh, speed up a little faster, or I'll go much slower. The topics get keep getting much more uh, complex. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, how do you want to do some uh, assignment? By the way, so laptops. How many laptops? How many laptops uh, you have? <coughs> hmm? If at all you two to three students can have uh, make a batch, and that is also fine for me. With one laptop among you, maybe you can have a meeting and uh, <coughs> share. That's also fine. Are you there? Somebody ping me. <coughs> Are you still there? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Like it. Now, some night attack you have by situation here. Yeah. I want to give you some uh, some small assignments. Okay. Some histogram specification. Some very very. uh general one but i am wondering uh, how many of you are having uh, laptops that day some three had three or four had uh, replied hmm? so how do we go about this if at all you are in college then we could have asked you uh, here itself a laptop is very important nowadays okay hmm? so for doing this online courses and all those things hmm? so i'm not asking you to buy or something it's good if at all you have your brothers or sisters might have come how many how many people laptops somebody uh, just uh, message me how many uh, how many laptops among you you have just message let us see hmm? how many have laptops 1 2 3 4 4 mm, others are thinking whether to reveal or not huh or they might have gone after keeping the mobile turned on okay five laptops hmm anybody else laptops you don't have laptops hmm doesn't mean you have to do things uh, you know you can have a batch hmm you can have a batch okay with the uh, one student having a laptop hmm others need not have and then we can uh, do some uh, you know um, you can uh, discuss among yourselves what thing should be done or something like that hmm anyway let us see let us see so in next class what we'll do so that was about the intensity histogram a very important tool next class what we'll do is next class what we'll do is we will study uh, spatial filter okay it's the same filters uh, convolution correlation same thing you know convolution is filtering next class we will do filtering very interesting this also very interesting and a good thing is uh, it was all cock and bull stories in the dsp but here actually you can run the things on computer and you can cross verify so if at all you have a you know a laptop with you 
or some other tool maybe there was this i saw one workshop uh, image processing with python i saw so did you see that thing on coursera okay so i think uh, there are some courses available where you can do some tiny uh, programming things uh, on mobile excel just observe if somebody comes across such thing okay so abhishek darshan ranjana rufia if at all you come across such 